This is part 2 of ASP.NET Chart Control Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss setting chart type property of ASP.NET Chart Control dynamically. This is continuation to part 1, so please watch part 1 before proceeding. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. On the designer surface, when we click on this button right here, notice that chart type drop-down list is shown. And within this drop-down list, we have all the different chart types that are available. For example, when we select donut, notice the data is displayed using a donut chart. Similarly, when we select pie, the data is displayed using a pie chart. So when we select chart type from this drop-down list, behind the scenes, it's actually adding this chart type attribute to the series element of the chart control. So basically, with this chart type attribute, we are telling we want these data points to be displayed using a pie chart. So there are two ways to actually set chart type property of the chart control. One is declaratively in the HTML using chart type attribute, and the other one is programmatically in code. Now you may be wondering what is the reason why we may want to set the chart type programmatically in code. That's because if you look at this drop-down list, this is only available to developers you know, at design time. Once we run this at runtime on the rendered web form, we will not have the drop-down list. Now, there may be a reason, you know, we want to provide the drop-down list to the end user so that the end user can change the type of chart that he wants, right? So that's one classic example where we want to set the chart type property dynamically in code. So if we want to provide the drop-down list to the end user, we need to first modify the HTML. So let's flip this to the source mode and let's use an HTML table here. So we are going to include a TR for this table and this TR is actually going to contain two TDs. So the first TD is going to contain the prompt for the user to select the chart type and let's actually include this inside a bold tag. And for this table, let's actually set border to one pixel solid black and let's also set font family to area all right so within this second td in the first tr we will have a drop down list and let's set auto post back property to true for this drop down list so that whenever the selection in the drop down list changes it's going to automatically post back to the server and this table is going to contain another TR. And this TR is going to contain just one TD. And we are going to set the column span of the TD to two. And inside this TD, we are going to include the chart control. So let's cut this chart control from here and then put it inside this TD. So let's flip this to the design mode. OK, so we don't have a border for the table for some reason. Let's actually look at why. one pixel solid black. All right. So within this drop down list, we want to display the different chart types, right? And to achieve that, we are going to make use of an enum called series chart type. And this enum is present in a different namespace that is system.web.ui.data visualization dot chatting namespace. So let's bring that in. And notice this when I right click on this and when I go to the definition. So this enum has got the different chart types, you know, the text of each chart type and their underlying value. So the underlying value here is an integer. Okay. So basically we want to display all these chart types within a drop down list control. So within the code behind file, let's include a private method. And let's call this get chart types. And we are going to make use of this enum. So basically, we are going to use a for each loop for each int chart type. So we are going to get the underlying value of each enum uh, you know, that's present um, of each enum member that's present in series chart type. So in, I'm going to make use of enum class. And this class has got a static method called get values. So if we specify the type of the enum, then this method is going to return all the values of that um, you know, enum. 
So, and to get the type of an enum, we can use type of keyword, specify that type of the enum. In our case, it's series chart type. So, this variable is going to contain the underlying enum value, that is, you know, these integer values. So, now what we want to do is add, you know, the enum to the drop-down list. So basically, if you look at a drop-down list, a drop-down list is a collection of list item objects. So we need to construct list item objects dynamically here. So list item, let's call it li equals new list item. And we are going to make use of this constructor. You know, the text is what the user sees and the value is what is you know, present behind that displayed value. So we want the enum name. So how are we going to get the enum name? Here we have got the enum value in this variable. So to get the enum name, we can use enum.getName method. And then again, we need to specify the type of the enum. So series chart type. And then we need to specify the value. So where do we have the value? We have value in this variable. So we can pass that as the second argument. So basically, this method is going to give us the value for the list, uh, I mean, text for the list item. The next thing is we need the value. And where do we have the value? The enum value is present in this variable. So we can simply use this variable and convert that to string. And once we have the list item, all that is left is add the list item to the items collection of the drop-down list. And within the page load event, if not is post back, what we want to do is call this method get chart types. So let's go ahead and run this now. And within the drop down list, it should display all the different chart types. Okay. And at the moment, when we select you know a chart type, nothing is going to happen because we have to um, set the chart type property of the chart control dynamically. So let's now see how to ch set that. So we already have the drop-down list control here. Let's double click on that to generate the selected index changed event handler method. So we have this drop-down list one. Drop-down list one dot selected value is going to give us uh, the value that the user has selected. And selected value is going to give us the underlying integer value. Let's actually run this now. And when we look at the source of the rendered web form, Notice that this drop-down list has got, you know, that's the name of the enum and the value of the list item is displayed. You know, option value is the underlying integers. So selected value is going to give us that value. So drop-down list one dot selected value. Now, if you look at the chart type attribute here, where are we setting this chart type attribute? We are setting that on the series element of the chart control. So when we do it programmatically, we have to go from chart to series, and from series, uh, we can then set the chart type property. So we have the chart control, and a chart ca control can contain several series. In our example, we only have one series. And if you look at that series, the name of the series is series one. So we want to retrieve that series. And for that series, we want to set chart type property. And if you look at this chart type property, it expects uh, an enum series chart type. So how are we going to build an enum from the value? We can use, again, enum class. And then it has got this parse method. So parse, we need to specify the type of the enum. We are going to use type of keyword and then specify our enum series chart type. And then we need to specify the value. So selected value is going to return the value of that VNUM in a string format. So this should return us the enum. But if you look at this parse method, it's actually returning the enum as an object. But we know that it is going to return this series chart type enum. So let's typecast whatever this parse method returns to series chart type. So it's that simple. All right. So with all these changes, let's go ahead and run this now. So let's select, for example, bar chart. Notice that a bar chart is displayed. Let's select a pie. 
a pie chart and similarly let's select donut and the data is displayed using a donut chart thank you for listening and have a great day